नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर हेल एंड हार्टी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड योर स्टडीज आई नो यू वो वेटिंग फॉर दिस वीडियो सो हेयर वी आर बिफोर वी बिगिन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से दैट जेनरली ह्यूमन्स डू नॉट वैल्यू द थिंग्स विच आर गिवन फ्री टू दैम वी जेनरली रिपेंट वेन वी लूज दैम one such thing is a natural environment we were gifted with and the man made environment we have gifted to the nature talking about this man made and natural environment that is the topic we are going to take up today it is chapter number 1 from geography books of class 7 environment environment comprises of everything that is all around us it can be either living or non living things environment includes physical chemical and other natural forces living things live in their environment and always connect with it and adapt themselves to conditions in their environment In every environment there are different collaborations between animals plants insects soil water and other living and non living things According to Douglas and Holland in 1947 the environment is a word which describes in the aggregate all of the extrinsic which we mean external forces which influence and conditions which affect the life nature behavior and the growth development and maturation of living organisms talking about environment after the long vacation when ravi started going to school again he noticed that the only playground next to his school was dug up people said that a huge building with many flats will be constructed there ravi was almost in tears when he realized that the big playground with its soft grass marigolds and butterflies is gone forever he shared his feelings with his classmates in the assembly the principal too sadly observed see how our environment is changing in the class ravi asked his teacher what is environment so the teacher answered whatever you see in your surroundings is environment ravi then thought aloud that means the school building tables chairs in the classroom even that open field the road the garbage my friends all are part of environment yes said the teacher but wait some objects are created by nature for example mountains rivers trees animals other are made by people for example roads cars clothes books now work in pairs so why is our environment changing ikbal asked the teacher said it's all because of our needs they are increasing day by day we are therefore modifying and at times even destroying our natural surroundings environment is our basic life support system it provides the air we breathe the water we drink the food we eat and the land where we live so how do human beings modify the natural environment the car fumes pollute the air water is collected in a pot food is served in vessel and land is used to build factories human beings make cars mills factories and manufacture containers 
This is how human beings modify natural environment. From the above conversation, you understand that the place, people, things and nature that surround any living organism is called environment. It is a combination of natural and human-made phenomena. While the natural environment refers to both biotic and abiotic conditions existing on the earth, human environment reveals the activities, creations and interactions among human beings. What is a natural environment? So, the natural environment is the land, water, air, plants and animals. All of them comprise the natural environment. We are all familiar with the meaning of lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. We did that in the previous class. Let us learn some more facts about these domains. So, lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth. It is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil. It is an irregular surface with various landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. Landforms are found over the continents and also on the ocean floors. So, lithosphere is a domain that provides us forest, grassland for grazing, land for agriculture and human settlements. It is also a source of mineral wealth. A lithosphere for rocky, the lithos means rocky, and sapphira for sphere, is a rigid outermost shell of the terrestrial type planet or natural satellite. That is defined by its rigid mechanical properties. On Earth, it is composed of crust and the portion of upper mantle that behaves elastically on time scale of thousands of years or greater. The outermost shell of a rocky planet, the crust, is defined on the basis of its chemistry and mineralogy, which we will study in the later part of our schooling. So let's move further to hydrosphere now. The domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere. It comprises various sources of water and different types of water bodies like rivers, lakes, seas, oceans, etc. It is essential for all living organisms. This includes water in liquid and frozen forms, in groundwater, oceans, lakes and streams. Salt water accounts for 97.5% of this amount whereas fresh water accounts for only 2.5%. Of this fresh water, 68.9% is the form of ice and permanent snow cover in the Arctic. The Antarctic and the mountain glaciers, 30.8% is in the form of fresh ground water and only 0.3% of the fresh water on Earth is in easily accessible lakes reservoirs and river systems. The atmosphere, which we take up next, is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth. The gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it. It protects us from the harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun. It consists of a number of gases, dust and water vapor. The changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate. The atmosphere of Earth is composed of nitrogen, which is 78%, oxygen, which is 21%, argon, which is 0.9%, and carbon dioxide, which is 0.04%, and other gases in trace amounts. The atmosphere helps to protect living organisms from genetic damage by solar ultraviolet the radiation, solar wind and cosmic rays. The current composition of Earth's atmosphere is the product of billions of years of biochemical, plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere or the living world. It is narrow zone of Earth where land, water and air interact with each other to support life. The biosphere, also known as ecosphere, is a worldwide sum of all ecosystems. It can also be termed the zone of life on Earth, a closed system. 
apart from solar and cosmic radiations and heat from interior of the earth and largely self regulating by most general biophysiological definition the biosphere is the global ecological system integrating all living beings and their relationships including their interaction with the elements of lithosphere geosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere from here we shift our attention to what man has gifted environment when there is an undesirable change in the surrounding that has harmful effect on plants and animals it leads to environmental pollution a pollutant is a substance that causes pollution we can have pollutants in liquid solid or gaseous form a substance becomes a pollutant when its concentration is greater than the natural abundance and this increases in concentration is either due to human activity or natural phenomena there are pollutants which can be degraded and rapidly broken down by natural processes similar to the degradation of vegetables we also have pollutants which take decades to degrade once released cannot be easily removed for example ddt plastic material heavy metal and nuclear waste now effect of the environmental pollution it has been seen that the pollutant originate at a point and are then transported to other places by the action of wind or water some pollutants are dumped into the soil by human beings this leads to air water and soil pollution respectively if the soil is polluted the useful microorganism in it will die and the fertility of the soil will be lost the production of crops will decrease if the soil is not fertile it will have a harmful impact on the human society similarly if water is polluted then we have to purify it before drinking purification needs resources lastly if air is polluted respiration will become an issue and survival of life will be under threat air pollution leads to many respiratory diseases and harms the human body we can conclude by saying that the environmental pollution will affect the life on earth and should be reduced as far as possible we harm the nature and in turn nature will harm us more this should be stopped our survival depends on this environment so care should be taken and its balance should be maintained from here we take up ecosystem at an ncc camp that ravi's class was attending jessie exclaimed what a heavy downpour it reminds me of my home in kerala you should come and see how it pours and pours and pours over the lush green fields and coconut plantations ira from jaisalmer exclaimed we get no rains we see only kicker and sand as far as the eyes can see but you also find camels ravi intervened ira says not just camels if you visit our desert you will see snakes lizards and many insects too ravi wondered why do animals the vegetation and the way people live vary from place to place are they all related to each other oh yes very much so the teacher replied all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings often they are also interdependent on each other this relationship between the living organism as well as the relation between the organism and their surrounding form an ecosystem there could be an ecosystem of a large rainforest grassland desert mountains lake river ocean and even a pond so let's take a human environment now human beings interact with environment and modify it according to their need early humans adapted themselves to the natural surrounding 
They led a simple life and fulfilled their requirements from the nature around them. With time, needs grew and became more varied. Humans learned new ways to use and change environment. They learned to grow crops, domesticate animals and to lead a settled life. The wheel was invented. Surplus food was produced. Barter system emerged. Trade started and commerce developed. Industrial revolution enabled large-scale production. Transportation became faster. Information revolution made communication easier and speedy across the world. Humans must learn to live and use their environment in a harmonious way. In the end, Nuri, a girl from Mizoram, from Ravi's class, often talks about the lush green surroundings of her place. Seeing Ravi upset at having lost the playground, Nuri invited him to visit her home state during the summer vacation. With this, we come to the end of this chapter. See, we are mean. We are not taking care of things which are given free to us. And what we are giving it back is definitely worth a concern. Let's analyze what we have learned from this chapter. On your screens, you can see some sentences with blanks. You have to fill the blank with appropriate word. Hydrosphere is part of biosphere. Very right. Two main constituents of environment are dash and dash. Two main constituents of environment are natural and man-made. Dash is the hard top layer of earth. Correct. Lithosphere is the hard top layer of the earth. Dash modify the natural environment. Human beings modify the natural environment. Let's take up certain statements and see if they are true or false. So, landforms are found only over continents. This is a false statement. Next, trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money is called barter system. Correct. Gravitational force of earth holds the atmosphere around it. Again correct. No life can exist in biosphere. False. Abiotic environment consists of living organisms. False again. On your screen you can see two columns. You have to match the right word in column A with the word in column B. Let's take it up. Land, the correct is abiotic. Very good. Animals, plants are biotic. Mountain plateaus and plains are a part of lithosphere. Very good. Gases, water vapor and dust. Easiest to pick, it is atmosphere. Now let's take up some MCQs. You have a question and you have four options. You have to pick the correct option. Let's take it up. Which one of the following is a basic life support system? Is it the music system? Is it the environment? Transportation or none of these? Environment is a basic life support system. Okay, which one of the following is created by nature? Cars, scooters and buses? Mountains, rivers and trees? Roads, books, pens and copies? Or all of these? Mountains, rivers and trees are created by nature. So, the domain of water is referred to hydrosphere, lithosphere, atmosphere or biosphere correct answer it is hydrosphere 
What do plants and animal kingdom make together? Biosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, or all of these? Plants and animal kingdom make together biosphere. All right. So last question. When is the World Environment Day celebrated? Every year. 25th December, 23rd of June, 26th of January or 5th of June. World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th of June. I hope today's session have sensitized you enough towards the environment. It's the need of the hour. We have to stand up to save our Mother Earth. We'll be back with another video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, keep reading. Namaskar.